Welcome to my survival series for No Man's Sky and here we are, we're up in the space station. In the previous part the focus was very much on moving forward the alone of my, this the stars mission but what I want to do in this part is relax a little bit go and do a bit of exploration and but of course at the same time we're going to need to pick up the copper that's required to um, install the uh, translator. Now it's quite interesting if I go to discoveries I've just noticed this since the end of the last video I seem to have gained four discovered planets but I didn't actually discover them they were one was discovered by oh, was this? Uh, another one was discovered by three discovered by the sickness I'm not exactly sure why they're listed in my discoveries unless they happen to be nearby systems that I could visit uh, because at the moment, as far as I know, I've only visited three systems. But what I really want to do is, rather than just keep jumping forward into new systems, I want to spend some time exploring the different planets in this system and see what we can find. I'm still on the search of a great worm and other new features from the Origins update. And the other thing that also has appeared, sorry I keep flashing back in here into the log, is we now have access to the community research. I think this is another spin-off of completing the triangulation step in the previous video you can see the space anomaly accumulating research data from travels across multiple realities as further universal data submitted the quicksilver synthesis com companions unlock additional collectibles and it looks like they've, it's coming up to the end of tier one so what we might do is have a quick shoot into the anomaly and see what the what the new collectibles are and of course i've still got this exploration guide here which is explore the synac or system and it seems we've got to find some more um, planets. So it looks like we've almost got to visit all three planets. But we'll, we'll, we'll get around to that. We'll work through that in the process. So I think that's about it. Oh, so the mission has changed again. <laughs> so I think what I want to do first is see if we can find the radioactive planet. I'm pretty sure it's telling me that there is a radioactive planet in this system. Um, I think this is the radioactive one. Yep. Now, as far as I know, we we got to find an unexplored. Oh, what we'll do is we'll go in the anomaly first. It's here. I must admit, I'm very curious to find out what the new collectible actually is. Of course, when you're first starting out, the list of collectibles is very long, and you'd have to do a lot of missions to get all of them. See, so we're going here. I mean, if I'm completely honest, I don't really feel ready to do community missions simply because um, some, there's a good chance you could get sent to a an extreme planet or something like that where, with the low level of upgrades, you're going to suffer quite badly. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. So it looks like we've got some stealth starship trail and chromatic starship trail. That new? Yeah, it looks to be new. I thought, oh yeah, we've already got the golden starship trail, Emerald Cadmium. So we can now get a stealth starship trail, um, which is already unlocked for that. Though that says it's not actually unlocked. Oh well. And the other thing I'm just curious while I'm here is, is has the option to do derelict ship been unlocked by Helios? Okay, our oh, young one, yes. We'll go through that, we've read, read this many times before. No, so we still can't get derelict ships on the weekly cycle. Got some more nanites anyway. Maybe that will come later when they feel we're ready for it. I mean, there are other ways to get derelict freighters. Uh, we might get one of those, but again, exploring a derelict freighter with the level of protection and of course the inventory size that I got would be a little bit of an issue. And what I wouldn't mind doing is, is getting some more chromatic metal so that I can um, start repairing my ship. So I've got a crash ship which I've had for a little while and I really need to think about actually repairing that as well. Right, what have we got here? That's the blighted planet. That's the one we kept getting sent to which was pretty unpleasant. We've got an abandoned planet here with aggressive sentinels. Let's just move away. 
out to the space and see if we can find it. I think we've been to that one, haven't we? Oh no, it's Undiscovered World. Planet. Salvageable scrap. This is a frost crystal planet. Well, I want to explore all the planets, so we might as well just go around in uh, what we go over there. That's the Quagmire planet. We've been to that one. I think we'll go to the frost crystal planet. It's got copper on it, silver, um, dark sight, and silver. So we'll just go in this direction. For anyone who's wondering is that in this series I'm going to be in absolutely no rush whatsoever to get to the centre of the galaxy. That is very much not the focus of this playthrough. I want to spend a, some time in the Euclid galaxy. And the reason for that is that all my previous playthroughs I've gone straight for the centre of the Euclid galaxy or completing the Atlas path so that I could go to a new galaxy. And it's my permadef series where I'm going to be um, doing all the galaxy hopping. What we're going to try and have to do is refine this down into um, chromatic metal. We can carry more. Maybe this is going to turn into a bit of a copper run. So the cut. Okay, we're nearly out of what we call it again. Uh, there's some more condensed carbon. I think Safu posted a comment saying that uh, I'm a bit too obsessed with carrying resources. I'm afraid it's by nature. I am a bit of a pack rack and I do like to carry supplies with me. Probably it's because I, over the time, all the time of survival games, I've always found it important to carry supplies with me. I've been caught out so many times and, and maybe it's not that appropriate for No Man's Sky, but it's just the way I am. <laughs> right, let me just move this down here. Oops. What we can do is just install translator. There's no point pop around and of course that will remove the microprocessor as well so we've now got Artemis's translator installed so what we've got to do now is I think it's to go up and talk to people oh, what we got there yeah learning words speak to aliens aboard space stations to learn their dialect learn words from ancient ruins install the auto translate yeah. something crawling around here oh, there we are a little tiny little bug Habitat outpost detected. Okay, so they're actually trying to send us to a. Oh well. So we we can go there and maybe we will do a little bit of the mission. And they're actually obliging us. So we've got 250 copper, um, ferrite dust. So I think I've got a little bit of a surplus of copper. And if we put that in, we can start reducing this so you can see it's a two to one conversion ratio and what I really need is the chromatic metal to repair the ship so we might as well start pumping that out and did I actually fill up the multi uh, just, just, I'm going to dig all this out well, thermal protection is falling but in many ways I shouldn't have topped up my environmental protection I think that is about all that's left of here. Hello. Aren't you nice? Wow. Oh. What we're going to do is, uh, well, we're going to top up our. Uh, just make sure I've got enough for the. Yeah, we got plenty of sodium, so we're okay. Scan a few minerals as well to make some money. And we'll go and check out this. Then we landed right next to it. Waypoint. Let's see what we can find. I think there's another copper deposit nearby as well. There's quite a big copper deposit there nearby. I think it's just sent me to the same um, location as what the uh, the actual main mission sent me to as well. So we'll just grab this, check to ammunition, take that. It says my health is at maximum, which is good. Come here. Yeah, thank you. Right, let's scan that way. Is that copper up there as well? Yes, it is. Thank you. Um, 
because we don't have the teleporter in the ship. So, and so if I actually move a bit closer, we can offload some stuff. Oops. Okay, we'll just put a bit of dihydrogen on the way through as well. And so, mine these, and that sentinel's going to come and crawling all over me. I support 50%. Right, okay. Right, we'll just jump into the flying brick. Um, what can I put in there? We've got a Corvax cube. And we've got 18 ion batteries. And a lot of ferrite dust. I think that could probably go into the starship. And we'll put the rusted metal into the starship as well. Not sure why I'm carrying the ammonia around with me. We've got plenty of silica powder. That's sodium nitrate. Okay. Off we go to pick up some more copper. And we'll see what we can scale. There's a buried cat buried cache there as well, just to the left of the copper. We'll, we might as well go and see what that is. Okay, unidentified plant. Certainly going to scan that. Just we'll grab the very cash first. That is. Right, we've got a warped gas pump. What happened? Oh, ha! About to say, where, what happened to that copper? I'm stood right in the middle of it. Um, oops. Yeah, thank you, game. I think what we'll do is we'll just pump up the thermal protection again. There's the battery. And we'll just hook out some more copper. I'm sure someone's going to put a comment in and say I can go and buy the copper. But to me, that takes away some of the element of playing a game like No Man's Sky if you just go out and buy everything. I mean I get a sense of satisfaction of actually going out, finding the elements and refining them and making the things up as I go along. You know, it just gives you that feeling of success. Now I'll just hook out the rest. Can get quite so much, much copper for this time. Oops. It's fun in the hole. Anything else? That's actually got Oops, don't want that tray manipulator. Ah, uh, go away. Right, let's just make our way back to the ship. Well, so I better top up my life support before I die. <laughs> uh, we'll use up the gel. We, we got a couple of them. I mean, I've got plenty of oxygen anyway. Of course, this is a frozen tuber. For cooking, we're nowhere near in the stage of the game at the moment to worry about cooking. Anything else around here? Oh, we've got, oh, we've got a couple of bits of salvageable tech up there. I only want to go and get that. Um, I mean, 300 units away is virtually on the doorstep. Let so me just go over that way. Uh, this is the silver deposit there. A little bit of salt, and we can turn salt into chlorine, and that'll make us a bit of money. <laughs> on. Wait, go away. Keep back. <clears throat> oh, so that we got. Oh, we've already got you. It says there's another creature over the back here somewhere. Um, there we are. And you. A little bit of condensed carbon there. Uh, we'll grab the technology module. There's another one nearby. Said there was one nearby. 
Okay, let me just back our way over it. There it is. It's 85 units this way. A little bit of sodium there. Let's grab you. Another one over there. 182 units away. This one's the closest. I think this is. Go to this one and then come back to this one. We'll just go across the. I mean, I could walk to that. Uh, Thing, but have I got enough resources in my ship? Yeah, I mean the thrusters are full. I mean we could quite literally walk across the planet, wherever that is. I mean, I mean I haven't done a long planet walk for a very long time. It's, I mean I think this is one of the problems when you you get your ship really tricked out and you can literally land and take off and it consumes very little launch fuel. You, you tend not to do things. Whoops. <laughs> uh, double protection. I think we'll just keep using the batteries for the moment. Yeah, I think we're going to walk to the... Uh, there. Wait. Yes, I know. Okay, let's just top up the... Uh, ah. Yeah, I think we're just... I mean, can I make some more iron batteries? We need cobalt. Well, that's no problem. We just find a cave. We're on a frozen world, so... No, let me just see. Don't have that much space. Put that back in the exosuit. Carbon in there. Got ammonia and salt. Got that there. Got more copper, so what we can do is just keep converting the copper. That gives me more space as well. And if we find a cave, we can shoot in there and get some. Uh, what do you call it? Actually, is that there? There's a little cache on the surface there. I was going to keep walking towards that base. Um. Yep, what we'll do is we'll run that life support down so that I can use up this last set of um, gels. That will open up another slot as well. I'm sure there was a cache around here as well, and I think I'll walk past it. Yeah. Grab you. Uh, grab you. Right, so damage machinery there. Just keep going there in that direction. Life support five percent. That might be just about the time to pull that up. Of course, the, here we are. So right by the damage machinery, there's some cross crystals. Uh, we'll pick up the residual goop. Some more nanites. And up here, Got some more copper deposits that way. That's a thousand. That's six hundred in that direction. The dioxide deposit that way. We're, 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 what we'll do is we'll walk round this mound here. 
and we'll see what we can find around the corner here. Yep, thank you again. I'm okay for sodium, so I don't need that. Got the copper. Why is this stock? Oh, this has actually done the. Uh, okay. Um, uh, maybe I should be looking for even more copper. Sodium just tucked in here. Let's get a new. It's a bit more salt. There's quite a deep ravine there. I don't really want to go down the bottom of that. And this is the dioxide deposits down the bottom there. <laughs> Maybe I'm not going to go down there. going across the surface looking there we go yes thank you game I think we're top up the and then so that's back topped up and what we'll do is we'll just put in another one of the iron batteries in there I need some cobalt so that we can make some more batteries uh, I don't really want to go down there. Big dihydrogen crystal here. One of the advantages of cold planets is that you can get a lot of dihydrogen from it. Uh, do a bit of long range shooting for that. I've support 50%. Uh, exo suit boost. I think an exo boost. Um, so we'll just keep going. There's 600 and odd units away from base. Right, we've got a jettison pod over there. Uh, go to take a look at that. Some sodium on the way through. Okay, we got. Uh, search that first. Got a microprocessor. More sodium. Not, not that I didn't really need. Let me just come here. Right, my inventory is full. And we can't send anything to the ship. Yes, we got 250 chromatic metal. All right, dust is. Right, I need to sort something out now. Um, I think we're going to dump the ammonia. I mean, three units of ammonia are a bit of a waste of time. I'd like to keep the salt, but as well, we've got that there. So we come here, we put that in there. We can start the process of doing that. We can that gives me two slots again. Well, just where kill the lash plants on out of uh, two. Okay, got something building up, the music's building up. Yep. The music's changed its mind. Of course we've now we got the Atlas V1 pass. But antimatter. Um, condensed carbon. And I'm probably just filling my I don't need that. Just see. I've got one slot left. We got loads of all right dust. Well, think that, and then what I'm going to do is discard that. Two microprocessors. Um, I think that just about fills my inventory up. So, yeah, thank you. And we'll just keep going. We're not that far away now. Mm, yep. uh, just keep pumping in the oxygen. 
We're not going to use the iron batteries. We're just going to use sodium. We got here. Minus settlement. Another cargo drop. Let's keep going. I mean, there's nice stuff here, but uh, okay, I shouldn't do this. Dense carbon. Don't really need it. Um, right, we got. This is full. Right, we're going to have to discard the salt. And I could feed this back into here. Yeah, well, I think we'll just keep converting the slime into nanites. It gives me two slots back again. I can do that, I can do that, I that. I've got two health kits here. We've got some rusty metal, so we're okay for that. And we've got a life support gel. And just go up through here. And here we are. Wait. I got you. Nope. I should... Then we're going to kill you on principle. To do is get into here. Oops. Oops. Claim the base. Oh, plant there. We'll scan you. It's only going to claim this. Anything in here? Nope. Right, let's get round the back here. Oh, look at that up there. What is that? We're going to call our starship in. I need the oxygen, but and it says we got to go and talk to this guy. I've got a slot just in case he gives me anything. <laughs> he did a quick little spin there. Friend, I am Gek Trade Federation. Something I give help. Request dialect help. What Gek was. Work Gek releases a sweet scent and teaches me a word of their language. My brain feels refreshed. As I turn to leave, Work Gek pulls up at my sleeve. They must have appreciated my interest in history as they hand me a chart with directions to an ancient relic. So if we get inside. And we can have a quick look around. Grab some nanites. Right. Sell the warped gas pumps because I don't really have that, and the Corvax cube, so we're offload this. Um, warped gas pumps. Corvax cube. And we've got just over a million. Stick metal. Magnetized ferrite. Alright, we'll have to take a look at the multi tools. Dinky little A class multi tool. Not really what I'm looking for. Let me just have a quick chat with this guy and see what he's got. I can't remember what blueprints I've still got to get. Um, well, I've got 3,000 nanites, but I don't really need any of this at the moment. I mean, the shield lattice would be quite nice to have, but I don't really want to take a slot up using that at the moment. That's for the bolt caster. I've already got uh, one layer of protection for cold. 
that, so I don't really want to use that. I think what I might do is I'm going to get the shield lattice so that I've got it, but I'm not going to install it straight away. Thank you, game. And what have you got in the way of resources? Uh, can purchase components. One thing I wouldn't mind if he's got one, yeah, drop pod coordinates. I wouldn't mind getting one of these. And in fact, I wouldn't mind two of them actually. Uh, we'll get one and then we're going to use it. Okay. I've got some antimatter here as well, isn't it? So if I come in here, which is components, we buy one of those. What we can do is make some. I thought I bought one. You buy one. I've actually got some junk in the ship that I can sell off as well. So we'll come in here. We'll sell the gold and we'll sell the silver. Right. Back to here. I thought I'd bought the purchase item. Obviously, I didn't hold the key long enough. Right, what we'll do is go to the starship, use that, and put that in there. That gives me a little bit of warp range. I'll put that in there as well. Gives me two slots. That can go to the starship. Put that. Got one drop pop. Got a bit of space. Now I think we'll go for the single drop pod for the moment. Of course, <laughs> as Snafu pointed out, I used up all my signal boosters. So. Um, okay, we need yeah, we carbon energy and steel plate. It's not, it's not a problem. And what I'm going to do is deploy you. And outpost directed. You select task, pod, pod container. How far away is that? 11 hours. And this time I will pick up the signal booster because if we're going to go looking for drop pods, we might as well carry it with us. Anything else around here? The life support is 50%. We're okay for life support. It's a subterranean relic there, 109. Um, how am I off the cobalt? I think the cobalt is in the starship. Yeah. I think we'll go and pick up a little bit of cobalt. And the subterranean relic is going to probably be a vortex cube. Yep. Pick a couple of some of these up because we're right next to somewhere where we can sell them. And we're just going to duck in here and pick up some cobalt. Yeah, thank you, game. Um, oh, look, some more here. Uh, grab some of these. We won't make a vast amount of money from them, but we'll make enough to be going on with. Right, I need some cobalt. Where's the cobalt? Scan that. That should be cobalt. Yep. So we'll just pick up some. That'll let me manufacture some batteries. Why is the game shaking? Yeah, grab some of this. I don't need a vast amount, I just need enough to keep me going. So we'll just grab this mining beam standing out. So we'll just pop the mining beam up. Use the it's carbon. We'll just grab this, a couple more, and then we'll be off to the drop pod. Uh, I mean, it's so long since I've done a drop pod, I can't remember what elements we need to unlock them, but that'd be okay. Let's 
Can you... Looks like there's some more salvageable tech around here as well. So we'll just go this way. Quite strange. When I was inside the cave, I could see salvageable tech. Now I've come out. Um, um, the damage machinery here. Um, uh, pick up. Oh. I have to come back for that. Um. Yes, thank you, game. It was a little bit over there. So we just get into here. Sell off the vortex cubes. Right, we've got another 49,000 of those. It's be back over a million. Oops. Uh, we better top up the life support. We use that up so they've got another spare space. Um, yep, thank you, game. Now we come back to the cube. Some starship launch fuel, that would be useful. Um, it's carbon and frost crystals. I don't really have a uh, excessive need for those. Hello. Oh, what we got around here? So they're going to grab you. 104,000, look at that, wow. Okay. We're getting quite a lot of projectile ammunition. Yeah, I'm not exactly too sure why I'm carrying so much with me, but one thing about projectile ammunition is that if you collect it as you go along, it's very rare that you actually have to manufacture it. In fact, I can't remember the last time I actually manufactured projectile am ammunition. Right, we've got hostiles coming in, but that's going to be okay. And off we go to the drop pod. So here we are. Looks like there's another minor settlement just around the back there as well. So, um, so, so here we are. And of course we can get straight in. And what do we need for a drop pod? We need sodium nitrate. Ionized cobalt, thank you. Antimatter. <laughs> I should have made that rocket, um, that fuel, shouldn't I? Right. I, um, uh, we're just going to convert this. You up? Um, you back in the inventory and we'll throw you away. Uh, right. We're going to. Um, let me just look. How much ionized cobalt do I need? 55. So we're going to have to convert all that, all that cobalt into ionized cobalt. Oops. So we'll do that. First things out of the box. Uh, put in the carbon. And the next thing I need to do is that can go to the starship. Should have. I really need to use this salvage data to get some more tech. That can go to the starship. We've got that residual goop. Do I need to make uh right I can make that? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and charge this as we go. So we've got that there. We need sodium nitrate and the ionized cobalt. And Doubt very much of this. We're gonna probably have to make sodium nitrate as well. A sodium rich plant. We can claim this while we're waiting. Sodium over there. Have a look round. I'm pretty sure there was a, a base or something near us. There's a buried mineral formation. Well, I don't know if there's a buried min mineral formation. Let's go check this out. Uh, 
Oops. <laughs> oh, that was why I should get close enough to it. I thought it was a bit. Okay, destination reach. Okay, well. Oh, we got glowing minerals. I got you, have I? There's a cargo drop there, and there's a berry technology module, and there's actually a, a shelter there. Where's my ship? I've lost my ship. I think you game. It's that way. Right, there's. Uh, convert that. That's a crystal, crystalline sulfide. Not sure I need that. Um, I'm gonna have to, uh, have to throw the rusted metal away. Uh, an iron battery. More projectile ammunition, which I don't need. And of course, one thing about drop pods is if you get inside here, you actually get a bit of button protection. Yes, thank you, game. Oops. Um, I'm back in. Pick up the sodium. Oh, look, I don't want that. Oh, sodium, not. Where's uh, the sodium? Uh, we'll just get rid of the little bits and pieces first. Uh, all we need now is uh, about 30 odd. Oops. There's a, there's a this plant over there. Uh, scan you. Got you. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go sit in the ship. Right. Um, convert you. I think we'll just go straight for the 125 of this. You make it. No, I can. Should be enough. Here we are. What we should be able to do now is get a suit upgrade. I think I'm going to go for the high capacity, so we're just going to upgrade that. Um, that is looking good. How's my ship off the thruster? Launch fuel. Yep, very good. Um, now, where's that? Where did that minor settlement go? We got a salvage container over here. Oh, that's 500 odd. Doesn't make sense. There was a an ancient ruin off planet. Very technology module. There was a minor settlement around here. Um, okay, let's, let's go looking. I could see it. I'm just gonna go and check out what's the space situation like. Um, what we got here? Well, that can go in the high capacity. That means I can keep accumulating the chromatic metal. Uh, let's sort this out a little bit. So uh, let's see what I've got. Right, let's just go out and check over what this is.
Got to leave. Uh, this is probably going to be navigation data, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> well, in navigation data isn't it? Uh, wait, I'm just picking up stuff. Why are you on my case? I'm just going to go and head for the miner and the shelter. Let's a quick look. Yeah, we've got, still got space. And we can go here. Some more residual goop. Got some more danites. We've got some more rocks to scan. This go back into there. Uh, not converting you. Is that going? In got some more space to pick up things. We'll shoot in here. Dust. We've got some more loot over there. We got oh. yes, thank you, game. Oops, aiming up a base. Take that for the moment. Or navigation data. Back. That. By hydrogen jelly, I'm filling my. Entry up again. Certainly want to check those out. I think what we'll do is we'll summon in the ship. Search you. More antimatter. Uh, more navigation data. More rusty metal. <laughs> okay. We need to sell that off. That can go to the starship. And we got a callback's casing. And we're just going to jump in here. And time to take stock. So we got ammonia, rusted metal, we got tritium, and got plenty of ship fuel. Uh, some cobalt here. So, what we do is. Let me. What's that? About four of those, they can go back to the exosuit. I uh, have got a bit of ferrite dust there. A bit of ferrite dust there. Uh, we've got loads of salvage data, so I do need to go up and buy some tech to use that. Okay. Oh, well, actually, what I could do is come here, uh, put you into the starship. We're going to put three of you into nanites just to free up a slot. I've got one slot full of salvage data, so we might as well mix and match a little bit. Like there's been over 45 nanites. And then actually uh, we'll just put the keep the residual goop going. That gives me two slots. We've got loads of navigation data. That's what I've got in. We've got sodium, we've got carbon there, we've got a bit of dihydrogen, we've got some ionized cobalt. I need to leave some slots here. I've got the ammonia, got living slime. Cream. Go back to the there. Um, I'm not sure why I'm carrying the, the pyrite around with me, but that can go to the starship. I think that would clear up that. That really needs to go into my vault. And I've just noticed the time, so this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, I've got absolutely no idea what we're going to be doing. Maybe we'll start looking for a few more drop pods because in some ways I wouldn't mind getting a lot more of the actual extensions from drop pods rather than from just traveling to systems and buying them in space stations. But until next time, whatever you do, 
enjoy your gaming.